In my previous video six months ago, I demonstrated what Samsung called seamless earbud connection feature. Many of us felt Samsung had actually misled us back then because that's not really seamless, which I kind of agree. The way Samsung meant seamless is basically allowing us to pull connection across our Galaxy devices. Follow the link appearing on the top right if you haven't watched it already to understand more. As at today, Samsung has finally achieved true seamless device switching. The new feature is called auto switching. And yes, they have avoided using the word seamless altogether in this round to avoid confusion. And in my opinion, I think calling it auto switching is pretty accurate. It kind of does what it says switching to the device we intend to use automatically. Let's take a look at it now. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. With the latest update to Galaxy wearable app and One UI, the Galaxy Buds Live or Buds Pro can now automatically switch between devices without the users doing anything. It's smart enough to figure out automatically which Galaxy device to stream the audio from when we switch devices. I'll demonstrate a few scenarios using my highly sophisticated setup here, so all of you can hear the audio from my Galaxy Buds. This is my YouTube video microphone recording the audio from the Buds. Hopefully all of you can hear the audio. Scenario 1. A phone call comes in while I'm watching video on the tablet. I'm watching a video on my tablet with my Galaxy Buds Live connected to the tablet. A phone call comes in without me doing anything. The video on the tablet pauses and my earbuds connection switches over to connect to the phone automatically. Too tech savvy, you might have a hard time setting this up. However, when it is set up, it works like a charm. Next, I'll show you what happens when I answer and take the call on the phone. I'll go into another room and speak to you from the other calling phone. So hopefully, you can hear me through the earbuds. And after I end the call, notice I don't need to do anything and the earbuds connection will switch and connect back to the tablet and the tablet will continue to play the video and all of this happening automatically. my phone out the window. So first I downloaded the home smart app by IKEA. I'm actually going to fast forward. Okay, now instead of answering the call on the phone, let's see what happened when we reject the call on the phone in the same scenario. Super close to the gateway to do that, although my phone was within four meters of the gateway, so I'm not sure what went down there. And then later on when to connect it to the gateway as well because when I moved closer to the gateway it immediately Yes, as all of us would expect, if I reject the call, the earbuds audio connection switches back to the tablet and automatically continues to play the video. So far, the auto switch feature seems to be working pretty well. Scenario 2. A phone call comes in while I'm watching the video tablet, but this time with call and text on other devices, settings switched on. My Galaxy Note 10 call and text on other devices feature allows us to answer phone calls and read text messages on other Galaxy devices like my Tab S6. Follow the video link appearing on the top right to learn more about this feature. 
for times when my tablet is with me and my phone is not. This feature basically allows me to take the call using my tablet instead of the phone. So what's going to happen to the earbuds auto switch feature in such scenario? Okay, now I'm watching the video using my Galaxy Buds Live on the tablet. A phone call comes in, but this time the auto switching doesn't happen because we have that call and text on other device feature turned on. And then you have the third one, which I think is called mood, moody or evening or something like that. When the phone call comes in, we can take the call on either the phone or the tablet. If we take the call on the tablet, the phone call will be connected to the earbuds, which was already connected to the tablet anyway. Okay, this time, if we take the call on the phone instead, the earbuds does not automatically switch over to connect to the phone. But you can create your own as well. So three additional moods. One of them is the screen time setting. I've called it screen time because that's when I'm sitting behind the computer. Yes, it doesn't switch over. The video on the tablet then continues to play and the earbuds continue to stream the audio from the tablet video. I'm not sure if this is a good or a bad thing. Whilst we can say the auto switch function is not working this time, on the other hand, we can also argue with the call and text on other device settings turned on, we are actually meant to answer the call on the tablet anyway if we are watching the tablet video. So what are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments down below. So in order to get the best of both worlds, what I've done personally is I've enabled the call and text on other device settings, but only for the text messages part and not the calling part. So text messages will still come to my tablet automatically without me having to look for my phone. I use this feature to receive second factor authentication text messages so I can easily log in to websites from my tablet without touching my phone. And when a phone call comes in, the earbuds automatically switches over to connect to my phone. And if my phone is not with me, I'll simply double tap the Galaxy Buds Live to answer the call because the auto switch has already switched the earbuds connection over to my phone anyway. Scenario 3. Auto switch between videos playing on both devices. What I also discovered is that this auto switch feature doesn't only work for incoming phone calls only. When I'm watching a video on my tablet, and for whatever reason, I use my phone and start playing another video, the auto switch feature will kick in and switch the Galaxy Buds to stream the audio from the phone video and stop the video on the tablet. And when I do the opposite, I play the video on the tablet again, it switches the connection back to the tablet. Now this is what I call truly seamless auto switching without me having to do anything. Hey everyone, if you like tech demo videos like this, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. My Sky Perspective channel is growing fast and it will be really amazing to see it reach 1000 subscribers soon. I created this channel specifically to share my tech gear stories for all of you. Remember to also like this video as that helps a lot too. Thanks a lot for your support. I'll leave you to check out my other Galaxy Buds and Galaxy Watch videos which should be appearing on the screen right now. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video.